Gold Squad TV. So I kind of want to um, get some things off my chest when it comes to 2008 Celtics. 2007-2008 Celtics. That was a great year. Um, love Paul Pierce. Love Ray Allen. Love Kevin Garnett. Yes. And I love what we did that year. I got to be honest, as a Celtics fan, I'm tired of talking about the 2008 Celtics. And I mean that with no disrespect. But it's going to take an gonna be taken in disrespect when it's really not meant to be disrespectful. I really am more interested in seeing what this current crop of Celtics do. I'm not interested in living in 2008 anymore. Because it just seems like that's all we talk about because it's the last title we won. It's all we talk about. And let me tell you something. I've never been so dissatisfied with a championship like I was with that one. Because we all remember what happened in 09. And then we lost in the finals in 2010. Then again, almost got to the finals in 2012. Which to me, that 2012 team was probably my most enjoyable between that 2010 and 2012 team, those were the two best Celtics teams I enjoyed watching. I actually enjoyed watching those teams more than I ever did watching that 2018. Um, 2018 won the finals. I get it. They beat the Lakers. But I really firmly believe we should have won more titles. It wasn't meant to be. And let me tell you something. As a fan... Although I'm not paid by the team, by any means, I'm just a fan. I have to be honest with you, there's nothing non-satisfying, more non-satisfying than not winning multiple titles or watching your team. Well, I shouldn't say me, I'm, I'm not part of the team, but there's, more, there's nothing more or less satisfying than just winning one title. It's almost like you'd rather not win a title. Because at least, I feel like there are teams that didn't win titles that actually enjoyed, you know, were a joy to watch. You know, I have to sit there every year and hear stories about the 2008 Celtics team and hear of how Ray Allen and Rondo... And I have to hear how Garnett and Pierce and Doc Rivers, and it's like, yo, man, you're a Celtics fan. Let me ask you something. Don't you ever get tired of hearing those stories, man? It's kind of like the Al Bundy scored seven touchdowns or four touchdowns in Polk High, whatever, whatever that shit is. It's like the Al Bundy story. You know, nobody wants to hear what a team used to do or what used to be. You know, unfortunately, I want to say unfortunate. I want to live in the now. And today, to keep it real with you, my favorite Celtics team to watch probably of all time was that 2018 team. That 17-18 team, especially in the playoffs. So from round one, to the conference finals in that seventh game, I, that was the most invested I ever was in watching a Celtics run that didn't win a title. And at this point, I'm more invested in this team now than I ever was back. And I mind you, I've been a Celtics fan since 1993, like, 92, 93. You know, that 2002 team that went to the Eastern Conference Finals was was fun to watch but you know ultimately at the end of the day man like I want to see this current crop win I want to see Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown prove critics wrong at least get to the at least get to the damn finals I'm happy just getting to the finals at this point get to the finals 
just so we can have that experience. And then we can move forward and stop talking about 2008. Because I'm not 23 years old anymore. I'm actually 36 years old. My life is no longer in the space it was back in 2008. Nor do I want to reminisce about 2008 over and over and over and over and over again. Because I feel like NBC Boston and all these media outlets talk more about that 2018 than any Celtics team. And I wasn't around for a lot of those Larry Bird teams. Obviously, I wasn't a fan until 93. But I respect Larry Bird, and I respect those teams, and I think they should be talked about more than that 2018. Although, though, it's been years. At least those teams have won titles. Like, they, they won titles. They didn't just win one title. They won multiple titles. Once they retired KG's number, I want to put to bed all this 2008 talk already. So, you guys let me know what you guys think. I'm in no way disrespecting 2018. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't. I'm thoroughly tired of hearing about the 2008 Celtics. I'm just tired of it. I, I want to win a title. I want to see the Celtics win multiple titles. We need to get back to being a team that wins multiple titles. Enough's enough. I'm not trying to hear, okay, do I really want to go to another 17, 18 year hiatus or drought as a Celtics fan like a lot of us don't want to go through? Well, we just got to keep talking about the past all the time. Like, I don't want to talk about 2008 anymore. Just don't anymore. And I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. Gold Squad TV, leave your comments down below. Leave a like, subscribe, peace.